Yeah, so the analysis of ocrelizumab on black, African-American, and Hispanic, and Latino people with multiple sclerosis uh, is a CHIMES trial. And this is a phase four uh, prospective study looking at ocrelizumab uh, in terms of efficacy and outcomes in these populations that have been heavily neglected in past clinical trials of multiple sclerosis. So we evaluated uh, NETA3, which is basically looking at relapse rates. We're looking at MRI changes and also in clinical confirmed progression. Uh, we looked at it at 48 weeks and uh, we were able to find that more than 50% of the population uh, was able to meet NETA3. Uh, in fact, actually over 90% met the uh, part that was related to relapses as well as uh, basically not progressing, so disability was, uh, you know, sort of stayed consistent and did not progress. But in terms of the MRI, that's where we found that actually between zero to 48 weeks, only 50% met the ability of not having any new T2 lesions. But when we re-baseline to 24 weeks to 48 weeks, we see that actually over 90% meets uh, that, you know, that measure. In this uh, analysis, new analysis of this new population, it actually shows that it works quite um, efficaciously in this population if we reference the OPERA 1 and OPERA 2 uh, trials, which were mainly conducted in white populations. So we're looking at secondary clinical outcomes. Uh, these include uh, just the EDSS as it progresses over time. We're looking at nine hole peg tube. Uh, we also are looking at 25 foot walk. Uh, and we're also, which is really important, particularly for these populations that have very little in terms of amino phenotyping, but we're looking at biomarkers, including not only uh, you know, T and B cell subset changes, but we're also looking at NFL. We're also looking at just genetic uh, differences or gen analysis, including HLA and genetic ancestry, how maybe, you know, that diversity drives different outcomes. And uh, we're also looking at patient reported outcomes. Uh, so surveys that look more into detail into their social determinants of health.